Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and I am real excited today to bring you the Kiss Me I'm Irish crocheted scarf and or shawl. This is an asymmetrical design. This features Aran style cabling and let me show you a little bit closer. These are crochet cables, brand new and it goes continues along the side of the scarf and down. It also features ribbing on both edges, on the ending edge, on the beginning edge, as well as a half double crochet V-stitch throughout. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna need. The beautiful green sample was made using two hanks or 800 yards of Lydia yarn called Bliss found in my yarn stash. Unfortunately, this yarn is no longer available, but please check your local resources for indie dyed yarn or you know whatever yarn you have available that is of a fingering or a sock weight yarn. For this project, I'm going to be using Lamb Shop Kits Purity. This is a single ply, 100% uh, merino wool, 437 yards or 400 meters. This again, like I said, is a one ply. They do have four ply available in the size as well with the same lovely colorway. So, and I'm also recommending that you have a size G or six or 4.00 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I recommend that you have a yarn needle and don't forget a pair of sharp scissors handy. To begin, we are going to make a slip knot and we are going to chain 20 chains. After working that starting chain of 20, we are going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in each chain across. So you should have a total of 17 double crochets at the end of this row that is not including the chain three at the beginning. After completing those 17 double crochets, go ahead and turn and we are going to work row number two with the chain two, skip the first stitch. We're going to be doing ribbing. So we work a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet. And we're gonna do this all the way across the row, front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet. After working that all the way across, we're going to work a half double crochet worked right into that turning chain space. And let's go ahead and turn, chain two. Now the next four rows are going to be worked the same. This would be rows three through six. We skip that first stitch, front post, the front post, and then we back post over the back post. And we're gonna work that all the way across. When you get to the end, again, we're going to work a half double crochet worked in the chain two turning chain. So go ahead and work the next four rows, rows three through six. This is what you should have after the first six rows. And I will tell you right now, I am loving this colorway. I forgot to tell you, it's called Autumn in Vermont. All right, so we're gonna chain two to begin setting up for the cables. We're gonna skip that first stitch and we're going to work three front post double crochets. Now we're gonna work a half double crochet worked into the top loops of the next stitch. These are gonna act as spacers now and throughout as we form our cables. And then we're gonna do that again. Three front post double crochets. And then a half double worked into the top loops. Another three front post double crochets. 
and another half double worked into the top loops and one more time three front post double crochets and then we are going to work a half double into the top of that stitch right there and work an additional half double crochet into the turning chain. So this is what you should have at the end of round seven. I'm sorry, row seven. Now we're going to turn chain two, one, two. We're going to work half doubles into those first two half double crochets. And just for the record, this is the side that is going to be growing as we go forward in several, several more rows. Okay, so now we're going to work three back post double crochets. And then a half double worked into the top loops of that half double crochet, just like that. We're going to do that three more times. Three back post double crochets. half double in the next half double and again I'm just going to work this row with you three back post double crochets and a half double and then three more back post double crochets and then we're going to work a half double in that turning chain. And this is the side that will always be straight. It will not increase for the duration of this project. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Now we're going to start row nine. And for this row, we are going to cross these two center columns. So we're going to chain two skip that first stitch as always front post double crochet into the first three stitches half double into that half double crochet now we are going to cross the first of our cables and the way we do this is we're going to skip the next three stitches we're going to half double in that half double just like that working through the top loops and now we're going to work front post treble crochet, so make sure you wrap your hooks two times for these crossing of the cables. Front post treble in the next three stitches. Working in front of the last four stitches, that would be these three trebles and that half double. We're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch in that order. So it feels like a big reach, but that's okay. Just reach across and three front post trebles. Half double in that next half double. And then three more front post double crochets. And then we are going to work half doubles in each of those half doubles only. Do not work in the chain two turning chain. Okay, so we've crossed our first cable. On to row number 10 chain two, half double in each of these half doubles, one, two, we're going to work back post double crochets in each of the next three stitches, half double in the next half double. Now we're working on the back side where those cables were crossed, we're going to work three back post double crochets. Notice these are doubles, not trebles. 
we're only using treble uh, front post trebles for when we cross cables. So there's three back post doubles now in between the last stitch and the next stitch this is where these were crossed we're going to work a half double crochet just in between those stitches like so and then three more back post double crochets one two and three now I'll, I'll explain this in just a second um, about the stitch count we're going to skip this half double crochet and we're going to half double in the next okay let me pause and explain what I've just done because if you notice that I did add a stitch in here but I skipped a stitch here so mathematically this keeps our stitch count constant by doing that so you're not adding or deleting a stitch. Well, you sort of are, but they cancel out mathematically, so the stitch count does remain the same for this row. So now we work three more back post double crochets and a half double worked in that turning chain. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So this row is very similar to row seven. Actually, it is the same. We're going to skip that first stitch. And we're just going to work groupings of three front post double crochets, followed by the half double all the way across. So in that sense, it really is a literal repeat of row number seven. It just looks a little bit different because we are not working it into ribbing. And another half double. And then three more front post double crochets. And followed by those two half doubles. chain two which is the same as row eight two half doubles and then we're going to work back post double crochets three back post doubles followed by the half double crochet across this row half double in that next stitch and three more back post doubles. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row. This is the same as I said as as a few rows back, just working three back post doubles and the half double in the half double crochets and then at the end we're just going to work a half double worked right into that turning chain. Now we're going to work row 13 which is the same as row number nine where we crossed the cables. Chain two three front post double crochets, a half double crochet in the next half double. Now we are going to cross the cables once again. We skip the next three stitches, half double in the half double, front post trebles in the next three stitches, one, two and three working in those in front of those last four stitches we're going to front post treble in these three stitches starting with the one that's the furthest away it's one two and three half double in that next half double and then front post double crochet in the next three stitches. Half double in each of those half double crochets. So this is what we have after 13 rows. For row number 14, 
we're going to chain two, and this is the same as row number 10, half double in those first two stitches, back post double crochet in the next three, half double in the next half double, and again working across, across the crossed area, three back post doubles, and then again working in between the last stitch and the next stitch where that cable was crossed, in between those just work that half double crochet. It's not in a stitch, it's, it's in between those two stitches. And then three more back post double crochets. And again, skip the next half double and then half double in the next stitch. And then three back post double crochets. One, two, three, and then half double in that turning chain, just like that. And this is what you should have after 14 rows. Now we're going to cross the cables again on row 15, but we're going to cross this column with this column and this column over here with this column. Okay, so we're going to chain two, one, two, and skip the first four stitches, half double in that next space, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, three, and again working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. One, two, and three. After working those three front post trebles, go ahead and work a half double in that next half double. Skip three more stitches, half double in that next stitch, and then three front post trebles. One, two, three. Working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch. One, two, and three half double, and those two half doubles after that, one, and let's find the top of that loop carefully, there we go, two. So this is what you should have at the end of 15 rows. Okay, let's go ahead and turn, chain two, one, two, and again, half double, in those two half doubles. Try that one again. There we go. After those two half doubles, again, we're working those back post double crochets over those cross cables. It's just that we have two now instead of one crossed cable. So one, two, three back post double crochets in between that last stitch and the next stitch. Work a half double and then three more back post double crochets. Skip the next half double, half double in that next half double, and then three more back post double crochets. One, two, 
three, and then half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch where the cable's crossed, and then three more back post double crochets. Again, skip that half double and just half double in the turning chain, just like that. And this is what we have. So let's go ahead and work the next row, which is going to be a chain two and skip that first stitch. And we're going to just work three front post double crochets. half double in the half double and then three more front post double crochets half double and then half double and so just continuing on three more front post double crochets half double Again, in the top of the half double. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but I just want to be very clear, if, especially if this is the first time you've seen these cables worked in this way. Three more front post double crochets and half double and half double. Let's go ahead and pause and take a look. All right, so now we're going to work another row of working the back post double crochet. So we chain two, half double in those first two stitches, and then we're going to work the groupings. We're going to work four of these where we work four, I'm sorry, three back post double crochets. followed by that half double. So just work that four times across three back post doubles and then the half double in the half double crochet. Row 18 ends by working a half double in that chain two space. Let's go ahead and turn and see how beautiful this looks. So now we're about to begin row 19 where we are going to cross both of these cables again. It's going to be done the same way as row number 15 down here, but I will do this with you again. Chain two, we're going to skip the first four stitches, one, two, three, four, half double in that next stitch. Now crossing the cables, we go to our front post treble crochets. We work those in the next three stitches. Working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble crochets here, here, and here. That's one, two, and three. Just like that. Half double in the next half double. Skip the next three stitches half double in that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and again, working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble here, here, and then here. be one, two, and three. And then we end this row by working a half double crochet in those last two stitches. And this is what you should have after 19 rows. Okay, for row number 20, it's the same as row 16. Chain two, half double in those first two stitches. 
and then we're going to work a series of groupings of three back posts, double crochets, and followed by the half double. But I will work this one with you as well because it is a repeat where we work the half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch, just like that. And then three more back post double crochets, one, two, and three. Skip the next stitch, half double in the next stitch. And then again, three more back post double crochets. And then half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch. As some of the Canada geese go by my window, in case you didn't hear those. Um, we are also near a small um, general aviation airport, so you may get to hear a number of planes fly over during some of these videos. Okay, at the end of this row, we're going to half double in the chain two space. And this is what you should have after 20 rows. Now we're going to begin row 21, which is the row in which we begin growing the one side. It's always going to be the side that's on this side of our project. This side should always remain the same. You should not be adding any stitches to this side of the project. Okay, we're going to chain two, skip that first stitch, and we are just going to do groupings of front post, double crochet, three of those, and then a half double. And we're going to do that all the way across three front post double crochets, followed by half double. So go ahead and work that over the next two groupings and then I'll show you what to do after that. Now we're going to make our first increase. We're going to just work half doubles in those two half double crochets. And then we're going to work an additional one in the chain, the chain two right here. So now we have three stitches, three half doubles along the edge. Let's go ahead and turn for row 22, I believe. So now we've chained two for this next increase. This is where we begin the half double crochet V stitches. We work a ha half double, chain one, and then a half double in that same stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch here, and then the next half double, we're going to work another V stitch. Half double, chain one, and a half double. So now we have two V stitches. Going forward, when we come to the end, we are only going to work in the chain one space and in the turning chain. So now we just continue on with the cabling as I've already instructed. Um, three back post double crochets, followed by a half double, and we're going to work that consistently across three back post double crochets followed by the half double. So go ahead and finish this row. And as always, a half double worked in that turning chain. So now let's turn. Chain two and skip the first four stitches, half double, that next half double, and go ahead and cross these two cables like we've been doing with those three front post trebles. I'll just work one of these with you. And then working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches or the three post stitches that we skipped. We don't work in that end stitch. And then we follow that with a half double worked in the top loops. 
So go ahead and cross this cable in the same way. At the end, we're going to work a half double V stitch, which again, half double, chain one, half double, just worked in that chain one space. Skip this, these two stitches and then working in the next chain one space. Work that V stitch. And now we have a turning chain. Go ahead and work one half double in that turning chain. And I'm going to chain two and turn. And now working in these stitches, go ahead and work a half double in that first stitch. A V stitch, half double, chain one, half double in the next stitch, and then half double, chain one, half double in that next stitch, just like that. And as we come to this side each time, like when we come to this next time, again, we're going to be working a V stitch in this turning chain so that we just continually grow this side, but, but yet still gradually. And then finishing up these cables, we work the back post double crochets. And again, working half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch. And then three more back post doubles and just go ahead and finish out that row in the same like fashion. I'm just going to give you some verbal instructions for the cabling of this next row. We're going to start with the chain two and we're going to work front post double crochets, half double in between, three front posts, half double, three front posts, half double, three front posts, and then I will do the V stitches with you after that. For the V stitches, we just work the half double, chain one, half double, again worked in that chain one space. And go to the next one. And now we are going to work another V stitch worked in the turning chain. Okay, so notice that we had two, we had actually one V stitch here, but we had two here and then two, and we're adding them gradually. And now we're up to three V stitches for that row. So they are going to be added gradually in this manner as the cabling continues in its pattern as well. So we're going to go ahead and chain two, turn. Let's go ahead and work V stitch in each of those. Even though we didn't add another one, the chain two acts as an additional one stitch increase. So you can see that this side is going to grow rather quickly as we make our scarf or shawl. And then for the next part, we're just going to work three back post doubles, half double, three back post doubles, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, and a half double in the chain two turning chain. So go ahead and finish that row. So let's take a look at what we have so far. So we have one cable crossed, and then two cables crossed. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to return to this row, which is row number nine. And we're going to repeat the cabling system from row nine through row 26. If you need stitch support, which you probably will, you can look at the bottom of your screen right there, and I will put a time mark where row nine begins. Now, when you go back to row nine, follow this carefully on the cabling instruction, but the only thing that's going to be different is you're not going to be um, ending the row in the same way. You're going to be adding a V stitch every couple of rows. So you're going to have a V stitch, V stitch, for example, on this next one, V stitch, and then you add one stitch and you're going to grow it gradually like I just demonstrated here. If you need the stitch counts for these additional rows, please check in the video description below where, where you can 
um, check out the link where you can um, get the pattern for this project from my Lovecraft store if you need that. So go ahead and repeat this motif again, rows 9 through 26 until the scarf is within an inch to an inch and a half of the length that you want it to be. And then we will return to working the ribbing at the bottom of the scarf. So I have repeated this cabling motif, a total of this from here with the one cable, which changes into two. I have continued adding stitches, adding one additional wattle stitch every four rows. And as you can see, I have changed my yarn color to show you what this would look like in a more solid color. I, I believe that the solid colors might work a little bit better than the variegated yarns, but both, in my opinion, are, are beautiful depending on the effect that you are looking for. And you can also see these natural um, hand-dyed yarns have a very nice marbling effect even in a solid color. But I repeated this a total of nine and a half times. So I'm just going to end mine with just the single cable here and then I'm going to show you how to transition right now to the ribbing part. Now if you want to continue making this even larger and you have a you know another scan of yarn or a hank of yarn that you just want to make this into a larger shawl, um, feel free to do that but I am going to begin the transition right now. So just to be extra clear we're going to be transitioning to a ribbing just like we did at the very beginning. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to change the waddle stitches into double crochets. But before we do that, we're just going to continue to maintain what we have going here. So instead of working a crossing of the cables, we're going to chain two and let's just work what we already have with front post double crochets over the cable and go ahead and work a double crochet in to the half double crochet as well. And so we're just going to work those front post doubles and the only difference is we are working a double crochet worked into the top loop of that half double as we go across the cable. I'll just finish working this with you. Make sure you get through both of those loops. Three more to go. One, two, and three. Now when we get to the waddle stitch, we're going to work three double crochets right into the chain one space. One, two, three, just like that. And we're going to work that all the way across. Okay. So just work those three double crochets into each of the waddle stitches. This row ends by working three double crochets in the turning chain. Okay, the next four rows are going to be worked the same way. I'm going to chain two, turn, and we are going to skip that first stitch and we're just going to work the ribbing by working a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet. We're going to alternate this all the way across the row, front post double crochet followed by a back post, double crochet. So go ahead and work these front and back post double crochets until you get to the cabling portion and then I'll show you how to proceed over that section. So once you get to the back side of the cable portion we are just going to continue maintaining the front post double crochet 
and the back post double crochet all the way across even as we work over the spacer stitch there that was a half double which which became a double crochet on that last row before this one so just front post and back post at the end of the row and with a half double crochet worked in to that turning chain and so now we are only needing to work three more rows of the ribbing and let's go ahead and start with a chain two and now this can vary depending on how wide how long your scarf or shawl is but uh, it just so happens that I'm going to start with a back post double crochet now you may start with a front post double crochet it really doesn't matter as long as you maintain the ribbing pattern which is to work front post over the front post and back post over the back post that's very important on these last three rows so go ahead and work three additional rows just in the same pattern and at the end of the row let me go ahead and show this to you you're just going to end the same way by working a half double crochet into the turning chain and then at the end of the three additional rows that we're working you can fasten off and I will show you that at the end of this row we're going to end with a half double crochet and then go ahead and fasten off and cut a generous strand so let me pull it on through you want to make sure that you have enough so that you can thread into your needle and let me just show you just a very quick tutorial on how you can hide these loose strands again make sure you leave a long enough strand when you do this and you want to hide this on the back side which is going to be back here and I'm going to bring this into the stitches weaving them in very carefully and since it's all one fairly solid color this is going to be very easy to hide within these stitches let's bring it down a little bit further and when I'm hiding in this way I like to actually go the opposite direction as well and with crochet there are plenty of different ways to hide these within the strands since there's so much more fabric more fabric than let's say in knitting okay so let's just there we go I'm going to run it back the opposite direction I'm going to give it a little bit of a tug and cut very carefully make sure that I cut only the strand and that I don't cut my stitches and that looks very well hidden in our work so I just need to hide a couple more strands and then I can show you the end result. Let me go ahead and just show you that to you now, show that to you now. Okay, so this would be where we started. And just adding one wattle stitch every four four rows and we just grew this thing be very nice and with that little bit of cashmere in this yarn you can just see the incredible drape that this gives to the the merino super wash yarn well I hope you enjoyed making the kiss me I'm Irish shawl or scarf with me today if you did I would love to hear from you please comment in the comment section below God bless bye bye